Hey lovies, welcome to another video. Today is the first episode in my new series, Sip and Chat. So I'll be sitting and talking. You can get yourself a glass of wine and enjoy. So the first um, episode will be a get to know me episode. Let's get right into it. Oh, by the way, sorry, I've been missing. I've been missing for two weeks, so I want to apologize about that. I do have a nine to five, and I was doing stock taking, and stock taking is a lot of work. So I wasn't able to edit. So I have content, but I was not able to edit my videos. But I'm back now, better than ever, more organized than everything. So my first question is, what is your name? My name is Nardi Ro. For those of you who are new, my name is Nardi Ro, and that is also the name of my channel. I will be changing it. I'm not sure the name as yet, but I will be changing it. But my name is Nardi Ro. Where were you born? I was born in Yorktown, St. Catherine. I am from Jamaica. I'm a country girl, born and bred, moved to town. Yeah, but I love, um, love how I grew up. It has made me stronger and better for her life. Yeah. The third question is, why did you start YouTube? I, I love the space. I love the community and I love the freedom of expression, the freedom to just create and be what you want to be or do what you want to do. Plus, I hear that they make money. Ha. But anyway, um, so I used to watch or I watch videos of women like cleaning, decorating and I love that and that's what I wanted to do I still want to do it I haven't been doing it on my channel yet I do snippets of it but how I want to do it I haven't been doing it um, uh, how long now I think probably probably seven years now I've been wanting to do it but I didn't really see it in Jamaica I don't see anybody in Jamaica doing that and I don't know, I was afraid that I might come off funny or just, I don't know. I it just, I was afraid of the criticism that I might face. So I hesitated. And then when I decided that, oh yes, I am ready. Then I went into a state of depression and that's a whole nother story. And, but I am here now and I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I finally start. And I think there is no time like the right time. And I think no is the right time. Yeah, and for now, when I just started, I was afraid. I was shy. If you notice my videos, I didn't talk in, in the beginning. I still don't talk much. But as... I continue to grow, I keep talking, I do voiceover. Now I'm going to sit down and chat. So this, this is new and this is a lot. And I am enjoying the process. They might not be perfect. My videos might not be perfect, but I will get better as time grows. And I'm enjoying the process. And I feel like I talk long on that video, on that one question. Next question. Have you ever traveled outside your country and where did you go? No, I have never left Jamaica. But one day I want to go. I want I plan to go to America someday. Someday soon, I hope. Um, but a place that I when I was a kid I used to dream of going to Venice. I don't know if you guys remember Bold and the Beautiful, it was a soap opera. I used to love watching soap operas because my mom used to watch it so I used to watch them as well so like Bold and Beautiful are Days of a Life and one of the places that 
um the couples would go was venice for um you know like honeymoon or just a romantic getaway and i've always wanted to go to venice to um canoe on the lake and you know just just the, all of that niceness so i still want to go there one day one day i will question number five are you a morning or an evening person definitely an evening person i am not a morning person it is the hardest thing for me to get up in the morning i do because i have to go to work and i have to um get my son ready for school but it's the hardest thing for me but in the evening i can move mountain i can do anything but morning uh -uh, not me do you have a nine to five and what do you do yes i have a nine to five i am in it i'm actually the system admin at my workplace i won't say where it is if you find out you find out but i won't say where it is i actually i love my job sometimes i love what i do but times it's it the environment can be difficult but i love what i do question number seven are you more likely to avoid a conflict or engage head on? It depends. More than likely, I would avoid conflict. I would engage if it is someone that I care about and I want to um, resolve the situation. If it is something that, if it is someone that I care about, I'm gonna want to resolve the situation and iron things out or talk it out or explain my side or stuff such the like that's the only way i would engage in a conflict otherwise if i don't care i just make you say or argue or do whatever it is that you want to number eight do you have kids so it is one two the three part question do you have kids yes i do how many one i have a son and how old were you when you when you had your first child um i was old i think 31 and here's my son hi so that's my son micah he's shy he's dying over there Have you ever been depressed and how did you get through it wow yes i have been depressed before i was actually going through a state of depression for the past for over three years am i over it mm, not a hundred percent but i am in a much better place now than i was before um depression is not an easy thing and i can't tell someone how to get over it or even how i got out of it because let me tell you for me i wanted to die i felt like i was dying and i wanted to die it's a tricky spot yeah it's the most painful thing ever Listen, I have sickle cell and I've felt sickle cell pain and trust me, the pain that I felt it's sickle cell pain not compared to it. And that might sound dramatic, but that's how I felt at the time. It was painful, I cried. I trust me, it did wrong. And I'm not someone that talks, so I don't really tell people So my apartment is close to the road and every sound the vehicles make, I can hear it. So let me apologize for that. Anyway, as I was saying, so for, for me, when I was going, I don't talk a lot. So when I was going through it, 
a lot of people knew um only person person that know was just people that was in an immediate circle as if my mom and dad i didn't tell them um my parents love me my parents love me my brother love me and i know that they would be there for me however my family is as before i said i'm from country so we are not necessarily we're not necessarily the family that would we don't talk about like depression and stuff like that I, I didn't grow up talking about it. I don't know if they've changed now, but I, we didn't grow up talking about depression and, and stuff like that and just bawling over feelings and, and just having things getting on. We fight through things. Um, so me crying over because I felt depressed or whatever it is I'm going through, me crying over that, it is not something that I thought that they would understand. I think I thought that they would probably say, like, seriously, that's your ball for that. You yeah, stress yourself over. No, man, get over that. Because that's what I'm used to. You have to toughen up. You come from country, you know, cry over spilled means. You know, cry over spilled milk. You toughen up, you harden up, and you keep it moving. So that's what I thought that they would say. So I never said anything to anybody. And even my friends, I never said anything to them because again what i was stressing over i never thought that they would see it as something for me to be stressing out about like yo that's a simple something like get over it so because of that i i was ashamed and i kept it to myself and for those who knew i never thought i don't think that they took it serious or they were weren't even in a position to I don't know in my when i was going through it, i just see it as them not caring but maybe they just weren't in the position or in the frame of mind to deal with whatever i was going through but it was it was hard it still is hard but as i said i'm in a much better place and you just have to take it a step at a time counseling is good i never went to counseling and it's not too late because I think I I want to go, but um, and people, well, if you know somebody around you that is going through depression or it's just sad and you're not hearing from them or I don't know, they look different or look like something is wrong, check on them, show them some love, give them some love, and they might not want to talk about it. Then it's okay, don't dig, don't pry, just let them know that you care. Trust me, sometimes, maybe even if you say that you care, they'll break down and start crying. But, yeah. Okay, let me move on. Enough of the sap story. <laughs> the next one, are you a good cook? Ha, I think I am. But, um, you can check out my channel and you'll see. Are you a good mom? I don't know. I don't know if I'm a good mom, but I am trying my best. I love my child. I hope he loves me. He said that he loves me. And he's the best person to ask if I'm a good mom. But I know I'm trying my best. Sometimes I don't think I'm doing my best, but I do try. Do you believe that love still exists? Hell yes. I do believe love exists. Love is the most beautiful thing ever. One of my favorite passages in the Bible speaks. It is actually my favorite. It is 1 Corinthians 13. The whole passage, I love it. It speaks on love. I do believe that love exists. Love is the most beautiful and profound thing ever. And yes, it still exists. Whether you want to man and woman love whether it is the love of a mother of a child or a parent or anything love is still in the world god is love so there's no way that love cannot still exist and i know this question is talking about relationship and i and yes i do believe that love 
exists. Have you ever been in love? Yes. From the first question, how I, how I act about love, um, I am a sucker for love. I believe in love. Um, and yes, I have been in love before. What's your biggest fear? Oh God. <laughs> right my biggest fear right now is um is being in a car accident. That is a crippling thing for me right now. It's being in a car accident. Um biggest pet peeve. That is my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> Drunk talking. You know that you know when somebody's drunk and they're talking and it just slur i hate it it annoys me and for the final question question 16 why is that really a question ah tell us a little about yourself but all i want to just talk about is about me so what are you saying but yeah um oh god this is such a hard question it's a hard question for me because i don't like talking about myself even though I just spoke. But yeah, I don't like talking about myself. I am... Um, so that is something about me. I don't like talking about myself. I think I'm awkward. If if I'm given a compliment, I I be like, really? Like if somebody says, you look so pretty. I'm like, really? Or stuff like that. I'm awkward. Or yeah, I don't take compliments well. I, mean, I don't mean like I'll behave badly or anything like that but i get awkward when given a compliment what else mm. i yeah another thing about me so i love a clean place but and i love cleaning but um so i love a clean place and i love cleaning but when the place is messy I get anxiety and then it, it's such a crippling anxiety that um, I can't it's like I can't clean and that is weird because I love cleaning I can't explain it but that is the case so I get up and I clean the place I clean from top to bottom like I will go through and I do a thorough cleaning but you see if you mess up the place that I just cleaned it's like it cripples me for a while and i just sit and i'm and i get in my head about how the place is messy so sometimes i get upset like i will get upset on my son like you mess up the place or whatever but for the most part i just get in my head and i watch the place like just get from bad to worse and it's like it cripple me that is weird but yeah that is something about me um another thing about me oh god uh, I love the I love um decorating. I love DIY. I like building things. Am I good at it? No, but I still love to build. Um, anything else? I can't think of anything else right now. But follow me, and you'll find out more as we go on this journey. Thank you again for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel please share with share share this channel share this video with a friend share my channel subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend about nadia i love you guys thank you bye